Hi, it's Mayo. It's Raw Art by Mayo. You can look me up on the internet on YouTube. Um, sponsor me. Give me the thumbs up. It's quick tips on art, so I'm getting better at it. I did the gorilla. You'll see that. But I'm going to do a faster version because I did skip the chalk. So you get a reference photo from the internet. You can get any animal in any position. And then you go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate. You chalk them in. Just the shape. See? Now I'm just doing the negative and positive shape of this gorilla. And I'm basically getting them in. Maybe a little higher. You can make your adjustments on the head shorter or higher. And then here. He's kind of a side view. So and then we're going to put in his arm here. His fingers here. His arm here. And then his breasts are kind of sideways because he's kind of a side view. See? So we basically get him in with chalk. On the version here... I'm going to see if I have it right for you. On top of the brain, let's look. You can see it. That um, was with white chalk because, of course, it's a colored area. So I'm showing you with a blue chalk here how to basically get your lines in or the shape in of the animal you're painting. So we're going to do the gorilla. So we're, our, he belongs in this Noah's Ark modern version I did here in the painting and it is a version of um I'm going to put this light on let's see if that helps a little bit let's see yeah I think so and so it's a modern version of saving all the animals on the planet only the male species go into the rectangle which is my virtual multi-dimensional entrance to a reality that the uh semi gods like aliens are actually controlling so we can save the species on the planet like the Noah's Ark. We're only using males because they have a chip in them that uh, is a female egg. So, And then we pretty much put our black in. And in this case, our palette is very simple. It's wet on wet oils. This one consists of... Um, the palette consists of just ivory black, titanium white. We'll put his... Like that. Put his legs in here. Here he's got these long, they have very long toes in here. So you can see, we can probably bring this up and make adjustments here. See? So if we get our gorilla in, we can get him in pretty good. And we use a lot of turpenoid and just enough so it's just wet on wet. Just enough turpenoid so you can take your brush and do this and we're going to put the nose in the mouth the eyes and dark it's dark in here it's dark in here so basically we outline the chalk and this is our gorilla our silverback and then we clean our brush you can see the brush it's right here see how it's going i'm going to push it forward a little forward for you so you can kind of see the gorilla, I think more like this. I'll bring it down a little bit more. Yeah. It's just a white canvas I'm using. It's a plane because I'm trying to repeat the gorilla here that I made a mistake on. And then we put the white in, see? I'll put my glasses on. Now remember, the palette consists of ivory black, titanium white I'm putting in now. And a little bit of burnt umber. So once I get the outlined in after I chalk it in, I take a little bit more of that turpenoid on this nice little brush. And I bring in the gray shades. And like this. And then here, because I want to leave that white of the canvas for now. Because it's wet on wet, you have to keep that in here for now. Uh, you can't really go back wet on wet and put white on top of dark. It's very rough. So we just take the black and we bring it out with a little titanium white. So it's ivory black, titanium white. And of course, this part in here. So we're shading right on the canvas and that's okay. A lot of masters did that. And then we're going to go up here. So we're going to leave his bra, which is up here. 
and his nostrils are going to be here. So we can kind of put those in and shade them in like that. It's a big gorilla. Now we can go in for straight black and dip your brush and get it juicy and loose, your titanium, I mean your black, your ivory black, and put that in, in here. I'm looking at my reference, which is down here, which is actually on the painting. Mm -hmm. Beautiful animals. They're so beautiful. And a little bit of black here. And maybe just a little here. Curl it in. Okay, then we're going to clean our brush. And we're going to add the titanium white. So I'm going to, you know how I left it on the canvas. I kind of left the canvas white too. So here we go. We're adding the titanium white. It's getting a little gray. I didn't clean the brush that great, but it's okay. And then in here, it is a silverback gorilla, so. And in here, and in here, and in here. So, clean it good. Take one of my favorite brushes to use, is a fan brush. And you just fan it out. So we probably need a little bit more. So let's go in. Clean the brush well, put in the heavy titanium, it's heavy now, I'm going to put it on heavy in the middle. See? See how I pat it on? Here, 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 here. We're going to leave that spot here and that spot there, see? And then down in here. Then, I'm going to take that fan brush and I dipped it in that juicy turpinoid. And I'm going to spread it, and I'm going to bring in the hairs to my gorilla with the fan brush. It's a silverback. Now, once you get that, you got the gray shade in, and we got the white shade in, and then we can use the turpinoid. We put in the excess, a little bit more of that titanium white, and then we can bring in with this little fan brush, just keep it wet with the turpenoid. Turpenoid is an odorless turpentine, which is good for you and more healthy than the others. And then we have our Gorilla in. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, if you can hear me. Real tiny, maybe, see if we can get a nice, oh, this is nice. And sables are good if you can afford it. But we have a pretty good brush here. I'm gonna keep the tip nice. And I'm just going to keep, I'm going to form this part of his face here. So watch. Dip it in the turpinoid, get it wet. Over here too. Split it, put his nostrils in. And then his little mouth here and there. And then his eyes are close set like that. And then we have a bra here and it goes up. Like that. Well, he's not a happy gorilla. And then we're going to bring it in here. So if you don't have a fan brush, fine and dandy. Just use a small tip and give indications of hair. I'm going to dip it back in the turpinoid now. And get a little bit more ivory black. Because I'm going to shorten it here, here, and down in here. We want that. And then in here. Here, I'm going to separate his chest a little. You can see my strokes, see? And then here, I'm going to give him indication of some of his beautiful fingers or his beautiful hand, kind of like our hands. They're so similar. They grab, they have thumbs. A little bit more ivory black in here. We could probably darken it up in here a little bit. See how wet on wet is great. I mean, you can do something like this in no time and add an animal to your repertoire of your paintings. His foot. Here I'm going to add a little bit more darkness in his foot. Yep. And let's look on that and see, make sure we're painting him good. Here I'm going to bring it out a little bit more here. His hand's tucked in. And then his shoulder. Let's look at that. 
think we'll add a little bit more here, like a back foot, and then I'm going to go back in with this and I think it's looking pretty good. I just wanted to check out to see sometimes the camera. So I want to make sure you're seeing what I'm doing. And then I just put in the fan brush like this. And I can indicate that he's got these hairs. Very hairy dude. Very hairy gorilla dude. Here, here. That's his chest. And that's his head. Yeah. So basically, he's not too off if you look. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, he's not too off. I mean, this guy is the guy I did on the brain in my virtual reality. And this guy is the guy I just did now for you, another demo. But I'm going to go in with the titanium white and put his chest in a little bit more here and a little bit more there. And then I'm going to clean it again. You can, if you keep these areas, if you keep the white areas um with less paint and just leave it white for your highlights. Yeah, that's what you were, I was showing you how to do that because that's a good wet on wet, see? And then here I can just put his feet in like that, indicate, and his little legs here. I mean, I'm sorry, legs, what am I thinking of? It's hard to paint sometimes and talk and do the same thing and show, but I get, I do it. And then I want to indicate this part a little bit more so you know just get that juicy turpenoid on there and clean that brush in between because it's a dark black I was using now we're going to go back to the titanium white and put in his hand maybe a little highlight here for the arm and a little bit more see how you can get it kind of thick in here with the turpenoid here and I do like the one on the canvas better, but thank God, because that's my giant painting of Noah's Ark. So it's not bad. Um, I can go back in with the fan brush. And just give it, you know, pat it, do what I do. And then I'm going to go back in one more time. I like these quick tips on art. I think if you're, you know, you can develop your own composition. And I do give hints and, you know, advice on compositions if you watch my videos. But like in here, I'm going to add a little bit more of that juicy, juicy, juicy turpenoid. Put it in here. Separate that foot area. And then I, if it's juicy enough, see how you can indicate his feet and his nails in between his feet. And then here, I can just move more contrast in here, curl it under, and in here. And I wanted to bring his elbow down a little bit and darken a little bit. So see, I can get him like that. And proportionately, I think I should bring out that leg. He's a pretty big silverback. So basically, I have him in. I mean, if you don't have a fan brush, fine. You got limited colors here. You got a simple palette. You got ivory black. You got titanium white. You got a touch of burnt umber that you can omit. And you can do an agrilla and any kind of composition you want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and just give him a little bit more white after I clean this brush. A little bit more of that titanium and a little bit more juice right here. I think we're going to connect this part. See? And then we're going to connect this part here. See? And then that little sad mouth. That's fine. And then I like his eyes. So I'm just going to add a little bit more titanium in there and a little bit more up in here. See? Now, then I'm going to go back in and clean that tiny little brush. And I'm going to get some more of that ivory black. And I'm going to put a little eye in here little pupil yeah and here I just want to add a little shade here and make it a little darker here we almost have our gorilla um and white one more spot I can see we need to fix and correct is right in between here 
And if you need to put more details on, I mean, this is a fast wet on wet. Pretty good gorilla in oils using just terpenoid and a simple palette. So, you know, I'll reiterate, uh, ivory black, titanium white, and a touch of burnt umber. And you can go back and put in more details in a couple weeks. You can always use, if you don't have a fan brush, the back of your brush. It makes really cool hairs like this. See? Watch. I'll put the white here. I'll turn my brush around and I'll make those hairs there. And then I can do it here too. I can put on straight. I didn't even put on any turpinoid and make that part of his leg. So now we have our amazing, amazing, our amazing, amazing, amazing gorilla. And that's all for today. So, you know, I did read, I did the gorilla for you. You can see two versions on YouTube, Raw Art by Mayo. You can see the one that I just painted in quickly over the first one. So it's not, this one I kind of gave you the beginning, the start from scratch. Getting the chalk, putting it on, the shape that you get from the internet, the reference photo. Put it on and then put your paint on so it's as easy as that. We can even give him little toes. Part of his toes there. And his hand is just curling under right there. So thank you again for watching Mayo and uh, Raw Art by Mayo. Um, this is the gorilla we did today, the silver back, which is repeating the one that I did on the brain. So thank you so much for watching. Sponsor me. Um, give me the thumbs up. And uh, we'll do more quick tips on art. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy, right?